Hi, it is Saturday morning, 17th of August. This channel is Drips Media, and I will be covering financial news from New York stock exchanges before markets open. The regular trading for the U.S. stock market opens at 9.30 a.m. My name is Daniela Drips. I will be quickly covering yesterday's closing data, main indexes, and the key companies. Please follow us online. Good morning. This is Drips Media, lit from New York. Drips Media, the revolutionary digital service that transforms the way you stay informed. With Drips Media, you get real-time news delivered in dynamic short video clips, keeping you updated on the latest headlines as they happen. Our cutting-edge technology curates and condenses top stories. Whether you're on the go or just need a quick update, Drips News ensures you're always in the know, effortlessly. Stay connected, stay informed, and experience news like never before with Drips News. All three major indices closed higher yesterday, extending their winning streaks. The SP500 and the NASDAQ both finished the day up 0.2%, marking seven consecutive days of gains for both indices. This positive momentum in the tech-heavy NASDAQ is particularly noteworthy, indicating continued investor confidence in the sector. The Dow Jones Industrial Average also showed strength, closing at 40,659.8, a 0.2% increase. This marks four straight days of gains for the Dow, suggesting that investors are shaking off earlier concerns about interest rates and the broader economic outlook. While these gains are certainly positive, it's important to note that trading volumes have been relatively light recently. This could mean that the market is due for a pullback, as some investors may be hesitant to buy at these levels. However, the overall sentiment remains cautiously optimistic, with many analysts pointing to strong corporate earnings and a resilient economy as reasons to remain bullish. Now let's delve into the performance of some tech giants. Apple continues its impressive run, closing at $226.10, a 0.6% increase. This marks eight straight days of gains for the tech giant, reflecting sustained investor confidence. Google also had a good day, closing at $163, a gain of 1%. This marks two consecutive days of gains for the search engine giant, suggesting a potential turnaround after a period of volatility. Meanwhile, Microsoft couldn't maintain its upward trajectory, closing at $418.50, a 0.6% dip. This ends a six-day winning streak for the software giant, indicating that investors might be taking profits after the recent surge. These mixed results within the tech sector highlight the importance of careful stock selection and a balanced portfolio. While the overall market sentiment remains positive, individual company performance can vary significantly based on earnings reports, industry trends, and investor sentiment. Amazon, a bellwether for both the tech sector and the broader market, closed at $178.90, a slight decrease of 0.1% from the previous day. Despite this minor dip, the e-commerce giant has seen a 2.8% increase over the past five days and a healthy 10.4% gain since the beginning of the month. Looking at the longer term, Amazon's year-to-date performance stands at an impressive 55.6%, underscoring the company's resilience and continued dominance in the digital marketplace. This strong performance, even amidst recent market fluctuations, suggests continued investor confidence in Amazon's long-term growth prospects. As we've seen, the market is currently characterized by a mix of optimism and caution. While major indices are showing strength, 
trading volumes remain relatively low, and individual company performance within the tech sector is mixed, this suggests that investors should remain vigilant, focusing on both company-specific fundamentals and broader market trends to navigate the current landscape effectively. Meta Platforms, the parent company of Facebook and Instagram, experienced a setback, closing at $527.40, a 1.8% decline. This downturn followed a brief period of gains, suggesting potential investor concerns about the company's future prospects. NVIDIA, a leading manufacturer of graphics processing units, continued its upward trajectory, closing at $124.60, a 1.4% increase. This marks five consecutive days of gains for NVIDIA, highlighting the strong demand for its products, particularly in the gaming and artificial intelligence sectors. The contrasting fortunes of these tech companies underscore the dynamic nature of the market and the importance of diversification. While some sectors and companies may face headwinds, others continue to thrive, driven by technological advancements and evolving consumer preferences. This recent dip comes despite Meta's 1.9% increase over the past five days and a notable 11.1% surge since the beginning of the month. Zooming out further, Meta's year-to-date performance remains positive at a healthy 49%. This suggests that despite recent fluctuations, the social media giant still holds long-term potential. Though investors should keep a close eye on its ability to navigate evolving market dynamics and user engagement trends. NVIDIA, on the other hand, presents a contrasting picture. This recent gain marks five consecutive days of gains for NVIDIA. This positive momentum underscores the company's strong position in key growth sectors and suggests continued investor confidence in its future prospects. The financial sector also showed signs of strength yesterday. JP Morgan led the pack, closing at $214, a substantial gain of 1.1%. This marks an impressive nine consecutive days of gains for the banking giant. Bank of America and Morgan Stanley both closed the day up 0.8%, reaching $39.30 and $101.40 respectively. Both banks have now seen four and seven consecutive days of gains, respectively. Meanwhile, American Express saw its stock price close at $200. $151.70, a 0.9% increase. This marks four straight days of gains for the credit card company. Visa edged up by 0.2% to close at $267.40, marking seven consecutive days of gains. MasterCard closed at $468.90, a marginal increase of 0.04%, also marking four consecutive days of gains. The positive performance of these financial institutions suggests growing confidence in the sector and the broader economy. These gains could indicate that investors are anticipating a favorable economic outlook, potentially driven by factors such as strong consumer spending and robust loan growth. This positive momentum in the financial sector is particularly noteworthy given Bank of America's recent performance. Despite closing at $39.30, a 0.8% increase, the bank has experienced a slight dip of 2.4% in its stock value since the beginning of the month. However, the recent eight-day period, which includes four consecutive days of gains, suggests a potential turnaround for the banking giant. This resilience, coupled with the bank's impressive year-to-date performance of 18%, indicates continued investor confidence in its long-term growth prospects.
Turning our attention now to the cryptocurrency market, Bitcoin closed at $59,423.60, a 0.9% increase. This marks two consecutive days of gains for the world's largest cryptocurrency, suggesting a potential rebound after a period of volatility. Ethereum, the second largest cryptocurrency, also finished the day in positive territory, closing at $2,610.40, a gain of 0.7%. This marks two straight days of gains for Ethereum, indicating renewed investor interest. Dogecoin, often considered a more speculative cryptocurrency, outperformed its larger counterparts closing at 10 cents, a 1.3% increase. This marks two consecutive days of gains for Dogecoin, highlighting the volatile nature of this digital asset. While these gains in the cryptocurrency market are encouraging, it's important to remember that this sector is known for its sharp price swings. Investors should exercise caution and conduct thorough research before making any investment decisions in this highly speculative market. This recent uptick in Bitcoin's value follows a period of decline, with the cryptocurrency experiencing an 8% dip since the beginning of the month. However, zooming out to a wider lens reveals a more optimistic picture. Bitcoin has seen a healthy 41% increase since the start of the year, underscoring its potential for long-term growth despite its inherent volatility. Furthermore, Bitcoin has experienced gains over five of the last 10 trading days, suggesting a potential shift in momentum. Ethereum, often seen as a bellwether for the altcoin market, has also faced headwinds recently, with its value dropping 10.2% since the beginning of the month. However, like Bitcoin, Ethereum's year-to-date performance remains positive at 32.8%, indicating continued investor confidence in its long-term prospects. Similar to Bitcoin, Ethereum has also seen gains over five of the last 10 trading days. Dogecoin, known for its devoted community and meme-driven price swings, has experienced a significant downturn this month, with its value plummeting by 15.6%. Its year-to-date performance tells a similar story, with a decline of 12.1%. Despite these recent struggles, Dogecoin's volatile nature means that sharp reversals are always a possibility, making it a high-risk, high-reward asset for speculative investors. Dogecoin has had gains over two of the last 10 trading days.